points because that's exactly what Phoenix is for. Exactly. Six points. Six for the ultimate. And you're able to pop off with an extra player every round. How has he gotten two kills for the need? <laughs> They've just walked into it. You seen getting away with murder and almost taking down Nuke with his second nade, which he has refreshed from the double kill. That is ridiculous. And although he'll eventually be shut down, it seems like this is going to be a utility-based round. Nuke creeping out in mid is dead as can be. Up already bridging the gap between these weaker weapons. Of course, addressing guilds by it is a bonus round. There are four specters in play, and of course, Yasin has opened it up by pushing back and catching them off guard. The trades on site come heavily in favor of G2, but Draken swinging out with the bulldog, the one. I don't want to say real rifle, Tom, but I feel like in a way we're shifting into a bulldog meta. It has become so much more prevalent <laughs> in the games that we've seen. That nade luckily not finding oh. a kill, but one thanks to all nade. the utility damage and kills he's gotten, Last that showstopper's online not found its target, though. Nuke you too quick, swinging wide so and catching good. Drake in off guard. That is a clutch, but Tom... Oh my god, he's just no. gone forward! He's went in zero information. They notice nobody outside B, and as they rotate to A, you seen pushes. It's so unpredictable. There's no way to see it coming, and that's what gives him the edge in a lot of these situations. G2 now at a man disadvantage trying to get that spike down, and Bunker's watching for the push through. He spotted Kellogg's, leaving it all down to Mixwell. Yeah, this man had one of the best performances we've ever seen from him on this map versus Fnatic throughout that closed qualifier. If you can pull it off once again, we'll be showing you that clutch potential of this G2 roster. Three players grouped up together, but they are starting to separate, looking to try and clear through lamps, find some extra positioning. He's gonna get the drop on one, but Leo is ready and waiting. Guild will get the... Like, a B take is about to come in, but we have seen G2 use these teleporters very well indeed. Yeah, this time those guys already pushed into elbow. This is commitment. Oh, that's so oh. nasty safe. He's in the corner, but there's no safe spot. That is so well handled. Utility used ultimates to take over this site. G2 are investing into this round in more ways than just the credits. And now they've, well, they're reaping the rewards. Look at this. Kellogg's on 7 HP, holding the valuable control over elbow as the plant goes down. And now they can focus on post plants, but... Doesn't look like that's really going to be a problem, does it? <laughs> yeah, you've always got to watch who's going to work with an operator. Because it's normally one where you just see that whoever's running that agent just running and gunning and going for peak. Speaking of that, you've seen he's kind of found out how it feels for once. Five HP is all that survives for Nuki. Never mind. <laughs> That that didn't last. How many utility kills have we had for guild so far? Like, <laughs> there's been shock dart kills, there's been mm -hmm. nade kills, and Mixwell, his lurk once again, is attempting to try and take over this ace site. He's got the Viper's Pit, which what? would have garnered him control, but Leo will deny. That was a... I guess he thought he lit Leo more than he actually had because he just did that right in the open. The option was there to do it pretty safe. Now, obviously, he wanted to, to get as much ground on it as physically possible towards that spawn. And rather than hold on site and give them the room to fight back, but that has backfired now. They've got to try to take the fight to these defenders and run it back. Although it's going to be denied, that player is still alive. It's still right back up, and they're able to mount this push back through. The Molly has done a bunch of damage. Good shot by Bonker leaves Evova all alone. The Phantom is perfect for this kind of fight. With the players on low HP, he can mow them down, but they are ready and waiting for that peak. It's about making it away. A minute left on the clock, and still looking like a fairly heavy lurk from the remaining players of G2. And Safe wants to go back in for more. There really is an opportunity here. He's actually going to catch out Cordamenta reloading. A free kill and the instant fallback. That can't be fought by Avova. A wise move. He has the spike. He needs to try and swing back around and meet up with his team. But he's been caught now. Nuki going down. Kellogg's falling as well. Gil Someone's got close and retaken that aspect of the team. This time though, Safe, his aggression will be punished. And you spoke about a faster round. I wonder if they're just going to try and play off this pick. Down. I've got Again, you've got to be so conscious of what guild have got to work with, though. Like, especially when they're running that orbital strike, baiting it out is a must. Playing these faster early rounds allows you to bait that out of them. And it looks like it might be coming down. He was thinking about it, but now it's smokes 
to fall instead. And for Bonker... Um, oh no, they're going to pressure in, but right into Yassin. They've ran into him, giving three away. And Draken's quick on the trade. Orbital strike used, but everyone's dead by the time that ultimate even finishes. About that one. Yassin's being heavily pressured now. Look at all the utility coming his way. Still, oh, oh no, they completely leave Drake and open. Here's Yassine's peak, and another goes his way. Man advantage sits to Guild. The Hunter's Fury was used, but it also connected a hit onto Avova, leaving him on 70 HP, primed up oh for those shock God. darts to come through and take him down. Here's a recon as well. Not going to reveal Kellogg's, but now that he's been spotted, they just need to peek him together with a Molly and hand safe. <laughs> that was a brave peek, and it's worked out, I suppose. <laughs> I won't lie, Mitch. I definitely clenched my cheeks when he did that. <laughs> <laughs> just I like, thought he was just going to flash. With this. I'm going to be able to kill him off. He's still got this Viper's Pit. It's going to make things fairly awkward. I think they've realized that killing him is, is probably going to be the optimal move. You see, he's actually just go running straight in through his own paint shell, clearing out angles, takes two with him as well. I feel like he should have gone down to one, but Kellogg's makes this competitive. Brings it back to a winnable scenario, but just in a blink of an eye, it comes down to a Bova. He's got the orbital strike to delay, even a Molotov or two. But realistically, I don't see any way he's winning this. He needs a pick quickly. There's the first. Second comes through as well. The Molly in hand. Both players now attempting it. And safe. He has to try and just get this defusal through. The time is ticking far too gone. Waits for the repeat. Hits the shop. And he hasn't got enough time. Surely it will be won by a Vova. A huge clutch for G2. And they will scrape a third round. Safe like, got an orb. Absolutely nothing. Safe yeah, even got an orb. He's like, he is sorted right now. But to run it back. But never mind. He can't even use it. But they don't matter. One player making it through the teleporter. It'll put at least a little bit onto Bone Cole, but he's got support. In fact, the four rotations oh. coming in, and Draken's there, Five finding down, a headshot please. straight through the smoke bunker on the site, even using the stim, uh, the rarest of all abilities to grant himself an extra kill. And Avova, he's brought it back once again. We saw him win the 1v3 just moments ago. He needs to double it up, and he's got 15 seconds. I play this one really smart coming through long, but both players from Guild are sticking on the side. He has to find the kills and just doesn't have enough time or enough health. And they have proven time and time again they can make. Oh my god! <laughs> was that a collat? It was a collat, man. He just took them both down. One bullet, two headshots. And it, this really ain't looking good because if you want to believe in G2 coming back, it's the pistol. They've got to win a Vova, oh. making a sneaky play in the smoke. Nobody spotted him. No. Bit of a whiff. So only the one kill. And it's all down to Mixwell. He's crept up behind them, but they actually know. Of course, the sound giving it away with 88 HP. He shouldn't be long for this world. The smoke soon to fade. The spike planted and four players to take down. Mixwell's going to find this tough. Like, yeah, I'm some would say impossible, Mitch. Okay, they know where he is. Uh, none of them are that damaged. And he has no utility to play with that's really going to be able to do anything to help him. So the second he steps down, they're just going to all peek him and kill him. Like, I, I don't see any way out of this. The only way is if for some reason they peek early. And, well, there's the swing. Easy stuff. Perfectly played. They're picked, so it's bad. It's more so, this is a map they should do really well on. Drone committed by Leo here, Tom, and it actually got cancelled by the nade, not only dealing damage, but basically wasting 400 credits. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pricey now, and there are a lot of players still on this site. Nice start from Mixwell, but the trades come back in thick and fast. Still a bit of damage done, Kellogg's! Oh, they are not ready for these sort of plays. He's like, oh, right, I'll pop through, I'll get on the other side, they'll never expect me to run through this, and before he can even pop the flash, someone's run through the other side, Guild. Just disrespecting G2 and their utility. And well, see you later. They're going to go all the way back, reset the round of over, needing to get something done here. They've invested into this, and thus far, much more if given the opportunity. And with how dominant it's been, that opportunity ain't really there. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, solid start. This time, the risk's not paying off, but the trades do come back in again. It's into a 3v2. Safe. He's prepared for it, but he didn't have many bullets left in the clip. He's going to leave it onto one man. You know, there you go, Mitch. You, you wanted a Leo clutch. There you go. Okay, let's give him the opportunity to shine. And he's going to do it right away. A shock dart kill to start. But taken down by Nuke. 11 to 4. G2. Get a rest man in. 
Jump looking like over. it's seen again, Look and they've popped the ult. Yep, running straight in, the flash is there, Cold and Mentor even takes down Bonker through yeah. safe. That's a, a big kill, because the whole point of Papa that ultimate is that you trade it, but he was dead before left. he even got the chance. Safe taken down on Mixwell's flank. He's been so good on this Viper. We talked about it earlier on when he had that flank through the A site, and it feels like this is the, <laughs> the second time that he's had sort of decent impact with that play in the whole map, which is not what we saw Saving. the other day. Ten seconds left. Oh, One saving. enemy Never mind. Yeah, they're trying. <laughs> Another instant headshot. Oh, that is going to be so infuriating. We're going to see the Hunter's Fury thrown out as well. Mixwell is already on an incredibly fast flank, but he is being flanked as well. He's got to be very careful. There's multiple players just pincering in on him, and that might be an overface. They had the man advantage. He wanted to make sure he was there to support the team, but Guild just slowed things down, and now Nuki needs to win this duel, but... Wow, you're always going to bet on him in that scenario. Of course you are. I'll bet on him in this one as well. Picking up a second, a third, and a fourth. Okay. Well, that's got some pretty quick returns. He's got a kill with every single piece of his utility, <laughs> except true. the showstopper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's popped it three <laughs> times and instantly died. Let that be a lesson to those of you out there uh, that, you know, when you hear that raise ulti, you don't have to run away. Sometimes you, sometimes <laughs> it is a better him. choice, but Just kill him, you know? facing a raise is the best way to deal with it. And also the least I, expected. I did hear a wise man once say, defense oh, in some of the previous series, this A control, but it seems it seems ready for it, but this time caught with utility in hand. The rest of the team, however, already managed to find an opener on the other side. And Kellogg's is actually going to pop his Seekers from behind. He's run through the teleport to the whole team, just staring in his direction. It's a little bit of a ludicrous play, but... Oh, that's so smart by Draken. This guy's brain is so big. He's just dropped his Viper's Pit. They think that he has already left, that he is going towards oh, the no. B site. And in fact, all these players are coming back, ready for Cold Amanta to have pushed up the first spots in the second standing. trades. Now they've got the A site, left. and it is not even remotely expected for Draken to be where he is. Tucked up in the spawn already. Nuke is going to walk past this, checking the corner, in fact. But he's holding on the site, and he'll be walled off straight away. There is still Nuki in heaven, though, and I feel like they needed to do maybe a little bit more damage. They've got Yassine now on the Lurk, and we'll get into an after part. Yassine has to get a kill here, and he's been spotted by Nuki. This now puts it down to just the three players who initially made the take work, and I think that's going to be a lot easier said than done. Draken, however, taking pot shots, hitting heads, already turning into a viable scenario, and the paranoia already coming through to clean out that back corner. Oh yeah, they're in a lot of trouble. Bonker, right clicking away. <laughs> uh, not able to get anything done on that one. Okay, could catch them completely off guard. In fact, Draken had absolutely no idea. <gasps> oh, Kellogg's, he's stunned oh, the nade. No. It is such good utility counter though. The fight on the site goes quickly in guild favor. The better weapons reigning supreme. But oh, no. Nuke gets another nade online with that. Leo is 20 HP back site. And he's going to be left in a 1v1 Ooh. without any side and four. Actually on the attack side of split where I think it's quite easy to get bogged down. Yeah. The other thing as Bog well down, is you yeah. then start giving opportunity to Mixwell. He's going to be the man that needs to delay. And there's so much utility trying to force him out of this corner. Even going to get stunned up. He's screwed. Perfect clearance from Guild to push him out of position, make that duel impossible. And now the remaining three players have a really tough retake yeah. on B. This is where those protocols and that server time really starts to pay off, man. That kind of thing, they have run that again and again and again. Practice their utility placement, practice their nade distance, seen where the gaps were so they can put the aftershock down. That is preparation, man. It, it pays off. But Bunker being sneaky down below, goes out wide for another to peek with his teammate. Avova traded on right away, and that was perfectly played by Guild. I love over alongside him and actually they're gonna make a play off of this the timing could be everything but you've seen he's always watching that flank and although Avova is gonna get them the information that there's now nobody here it's still the first man going down for g2 you see him watching Ooh, the back but he's okay. not able to get the kill that must have been a wall bang headshot with the phantom 
Unfortunate leaving a vote. Oh, here's the pop out of Nukia. He's going to chase them down. And that's a kill to Leo. With Leo out of the equation as well, that's big because he was just about to get his ultimate online. So no res to play with here. Rolling Thunder out in mid, though, is going to try to trade Nukia back. He dodges the flash, but he's still stunned on the peak. Draken has a perfectly timed flank as well. And this is starting to fall apart for G2 until Mixwell comes to the rescue. They know exactly where this last player is. And he has got next to no time. They dodge the paranoia. They put down the slows. And that is it. The round is done. Now they can hunt him down. Either you're going to find it out very early or you're going to put a bullet in the head. And again, how many opening kills now is this for Kellogg's? He really is taking that Niso roll. Oh, God. Yassine's full blind. He still makes his way onto the site. He got and Evolva. Evolva's asking but how the hell it's him that dies. Nuki ends up picking up a triple. it with pistols. And Evolva's already here. The paranoia leaves him completely blind, though. But this flank is still coming. They've dealt with Cold Dementa. The problem now is that there's just so much firepower to work One with. Kellogg's just creeping onto the site, getting himself a frag, but it's Nuki's last packs. So it makes sense that they kind of spread out a little bit, and now they're moving away from that showstopper because there's no powerful ultimate over on this side of the map. The satchel's going in, the control being pressured. They now start to go back. The big fake is sold, but Evolva's still so here. Paranoid. They've spotted him. They know that he's here, but he's going to use the cell oh, no. to get across. Unfortunately, not everyone was blinded up. The spike needs to make it to the site. There's only 10 seconds left, and they're maintaining heaven control. G2, they've completely cut this push off. The spike is down in heaven. This is unwinnable unless they kill Cold Dementa, and he's tucked back in. Only there, having that dismiss to get out of any sort of sticky situation if he hits the shot, which so far he has been hitting. So valuable. And look at this. The oh, bait on no. sight. This gives Kellogg's the perfect angle. He goes out for even more and connects. The wall is up and it's going to be broken immediately. The res coming into play. But they've left him in position to try and catch out rotations. Cold Mentor actually still manages to get one. At least making things a little bit more complicated. Now, is Nuki... Nuki seems to be the guy that checks absolutely everything. He might not even need to. Swinging back around. He's actually caught with a boom bot. But Mixwell is there to save him. Even has a res of his own. They can bring another player back if they can find the body to do so. Although they're a little bit further towards the back of the site. Bonker, at least, with that operator in hand, trying to hold things down. He's got Leo on the cross, who will turn it into a 2v2 scenario. The operator actually not going to connect. And now it is all on to Leo. But he's connected another shot into the 1v1 versus Mixo. As said... That res is still available, but he's looking to just play this one on his own. The shot's not quite connected by either player, and Mixwell will get it. This is what he's so oh, dangerous no. for, but... Oh, what? Doesn't look like anything. Paranoia gonna got work. everyone. 100%. Jeez. That paranoia got absolutely everyone. You can see almost cowering, and Kellogg's is going to peek this. Of course he's going to peek it, but Draken, he'll find the trade, Mitch. You know what? 3v3. This might be one of the best scenarios that Kill have actually had. Considering how it started as well, this uh, round was already over in my head, but Draken manages to grab even more! Alright. Oh my! Cold Dementa trying to sneak his way onto the site. He will make it there, but they will be suspicious. And as he swings into two players, heavy traffic takes him down. That's Guild with the performing. As a, that was a really nice attempt by Yassine. Obviously just not realizing there were 17 players waiting for him. <laughs> uh, he, he had the... The timing of a god in the last map, and it seems to have uh, flown out the window. As said, hit and miss, 50-50, but... Well, for now, at least, it's going very well, but safe. Gonna keep himself... Well, protected. Let's use the word protected and not One use his namesake. Leo already gonna pick off another, and it's left on two of over. Down to just 22 HP. Chances of victory slim to none. Well, safe. <laughs> Saves shutting them down, but he's under heavy pressure here. They want to drop that Ooh. weapon so badly, and they will in the end, but four kills for save. Eight. Especially now that they've given up so much control to G2. Heaven firmly in their favor. Safe again has to go big at the board. Oh, it's a little bit rough to begin with, but two headshots off the back. The site may have been lost, and the heals have come through, but still an advantage for Guild. Oh, and, stop. Well, safe is just showing that this, this Bulldog, it, it's mad how Mitch is meta. Absolutely, in his hands it is. He can spray that 
Very accurately, Rez comes through, but Safe shuts it down. And although he'll eventually fall, things are definitely still doable. All thanks to him. It's Yasin that had to clutch it out, and he couldn't get it done. Nuke, you're picking up that right in so far, lurking outside B. And I thought he was going to make some sort of risky play again, but it seems like he's going to end up as the lurker in mid. Of course, as Reyna, fairly self-sufficient. Everything was looking to be the B-side hit, but now we need a huge hold from safe. Yassine's managed to pick up that mid lurk, though. Now safe can just He's play that much, much more passive. He'll pull back over towards heaven and wait for the retake. Especially when you look at G2, they don't really have anything left. other than like an aggressive play to try to bridge that gap that now exists between them. There's two extra players for guild. All they have to do is trade, but no one is coming through spawn. This can't be another huge flank by Mixwell. Surely he's going to be checked at the last hour, leaving Nukia all alone to 1v5. A capable man that he is, but that is just too big of a task to ask. On behind the scenes, and evidently G2 have been putting in the hours on the frack. Oh, you seen it? <laughs> Man, again, every time he pops the showstopper, he instantly dies. That is ridiculous. Well, this round has gone from bad to worse. It started as poorly as can be, but every single individual battle has gone in the wrong direction. Leo is doing his very best to save them. He does have the res, but there's not really anybody he can get to. As he's swinging out on this, there's the first. Even if he kills Kellogg's, that flank comes through. Closes the faith. For me, at least, the faith in Guild was wavering before. But once you see G2... Have a one to six. <laughs> in this scenario, Kellogg's again. The perfect dismiss. And he's already going to open up both players in mid. He really is looking like an absolute star on this Reina. And that W key is pressed all the way down. Draken doing his best to save them here. But a one and done. And two players left to try and win this in the clutch. Well, the Rolling Thunder is going to be put out, but I don't know how much it's going to yield. A flash around the corner, and Kellogg's is catching Bonker with utility in hand, but the kill still goes safe's way. He's conscious of a player coming through mid. Seems to have the perfect read on this one, but now the spike's being planted in a 1v3, and Bonker's chances have just dropped significantly. Was again. Just having an absolute worldie of a performance, he almost. I thought for a second he was going to get away with two, Mitch. But it is just going to be one. Now, Yassine almost looks as this as a clean way into the site. And because of his paint shell, it is. He's denied their rotation. They've also managed to get a player underneath heaven, even before the, the flash went down. Good control here on the crossfires, but on their way back, the bait is there for Mixwell to spam away. Yassine doesn't Watching manage this. to take him down, but they now have that information to play with. The other guy coming down through long, if Kellogg's has, has been hurt, this is it on complete lockdown for Guild. A really tough one for them to lose, and G2 have virtually no way back in. The time is going to be a major factor, and with Mixwell all alone, it won't even get to the end of the clock. It's one to zero for Guild picking up the pistol here on Haven. Troll instead, they've ended up giving away not only a kill, but a weapon to save. He's going to be playing with that rifle. Now they're looking to pressure. Kellogg's is in with a quick rotation. That kill makes a big difference, but he peeks into the blender, leaving Mixwell to try and do it all. But that's exactly what he does. Two kills to bring this into an even scenario. But as said, this is now weaponry available. Now the main man I'm watching here is going to be Nuki. And this is all bait from Avova. He's trying to buy as much time as humanly possible as his teammate slowly makes the rotation through shore. Yeah, but looks like Guild are thinking about pushing him down. They grouped up for a second and held the angle. But now they'll fall back and play under heaven. This gives a good opportunity. The G2. Oh, Nukia timed out by Draken. It's all up to Avova. And now that one kind of falls apart. He's going to swing into a crossfire. And there was just no way to phase of waiting and then blitzing in with like 30 seconds on the clock in set rounds. If they sense that you're playing aggro. And right now, for G2, I don't mind it when they have pistols in their hands, and they're doing incredibly well, actually, with that kill from Evolva. That's a weapon retrieved in a thing over the last few rounds. The damage would be worthwhile, and especially when you look at Coldamenta, if he's the one to go down, it really isn't that much of a loss. Yeah, for sure, but... Okay, the flash is out. Oh, Evolva gets blinded. Here's the paranoia note, though. They can swing on this easily. Managed to reposition over into the corner. Bonker now under pressure. It's taken down. It's into a 1v1. The spike going to be tapped just to keep him around. Leo has to swing on it to check that he's not defusing. And that will be at least a kill.
onto him. Him taken down, weapon drop. But this showstopper pop from you oh, see he will time. again fall before a single. Not even a kill. Yeah. I don't think he shot a showstopper. I, I, I'm He's pretty once. sure. Oh, he got it once, got, sorry. He got a kill once. <laughs> One time he shot it, and five times he has popped that showstopper and been instantly killed. That This is ridiculous. For an otherwise good series for him, I don't know how the showstopper is just... It, it ain't working. It's cursed. It is cursed. <laughs> and the thing is, even if he just shot it into the wall there, it would have actually got him a kill because the Vova was stood right next to him. Oh, that was almost attempted to be a bait try and get the peak to come out from Draken, but instead he wins the draw, and he's actually going to take the second player down as well. Big Brain stuffed with Leo just running in and taking out Mixwell. This was a three on five just seconds ago, but a couple of huge plays coming out from Guild, and he's even got the Paradise. What? <laughs> okay. Um, for, for him. Oh, no! How is Kellogg's done that? He's got two, but they still end up losing long control. They actually come out behind in that, despite a, a little bit earlier than they'd like. They put Draken into a deep position just to make sure nobody can escape. No and you also no have to look at the ult. And that's exactly what I was going to say. Hunter's Fury, see you later. It's not getting you into the site. Yeah, they try to push down while he hasn't got his gun out, but now there's a crossfire set up, and, well, that was the wrong choice. The Rolling Thunder even committed in the end. Peek down through C instead. He is now being pressured heavily and Love taken it. down by... Oh, by Draken, but Cold Amenta. He's here early. He's able... To, no, well, never mind. Peeks into the full firing squad. You kid with the fadeaway actually ends up getting it through the wall. They've made this one close, but they're going in one by one. It's just not enough, and Draken on the lurk. Look at this. And now we need to see some something extra show up for G2. And right now, it seems to be Kellogg's. He's got the opening duel from the Bacol Dementa, wants to take another fight. And it feels like for G2, yes, it is a, a very, very spread out map. It's very wide, which means that a lot of the time you're going to have to take individual duels. But that right there was a little bit overeager for my liking. I like this push, though. This locks down half of the map. And as said, in the majority of rounds, we've seen Guild default back towards an A-take. So Kellogg's taking this level of control, likely going to net him a huge amount of success. Already a pick going in his direction. This gives some space as well to them to get the res. This is looking like that first round, but I feel like we've been here before. Oh, they've even got the information now. Two players outside of Garage at the very minimum, which will keep a little bit of a stack over this side of the map in play. Bonker needs to go big. He's the first one through the gap, and in fact, the only one, the rest of the team shifting their focus to the B side. No. But Kellogg's is on a very late flank, and there it is. That's pretty much the round Back done and dusted. Here. One bullet left in his magazine, but there's players absolutely everywhere to a This is where... They start to think that the A side is completely clear and where the opening is then there for Bonker to catch them off, but he's not going towards spawn. He's going towards the A side. These players are causing a distraction in middle, and as they go back, that's when Kellogg's is able to find the kill. Bonker might have a huge flank on B, but they cannot lose the spike! Oh. The spike just oh, peaks no. him! I mean, that's the round done! The yeah, what? they've had to give up. Yeah, the problem here is the A control for Guild, and they're not addressing oh, it. No. Trying to take it to the other side of the map to find the solution. But Kellogg's is here and now, ready to get some damage done, but he doesn't even get that shot. Draken quicker on the aim, takes the head clean off, and even follows up with more. That flash was good, sure, but this bike is planted, and now they know where Cold Amanta is. Double swinging and leaving Mixwell in a 1v3. Doesn't know that safe is on his way up behind. That was a 1v1 offered up, but it didn't go their way. And so Guild take up that eight. This execute, okay. You see ends ends up getting stunned a little bit. But the idea of the utility placement is so perfect. He's even gonna spam this over oh, Volva that manages to dodge the bullets somehow. And there's the kill. Leaving Mixwell still alive, able to take Draken. Perfect stuff on that hold, but they need to do a little bit more. Lockdown going to be put into effect. Nine seconds left on it. More than enough time to get that plant in. Although, a bunker can just about make it out, actually. If he runs knife out, he'll make it. He won't get detained. Well, that was uh, brave, I guess. Oh, 
Oh, they won. Trying to hold the line, but yeah, the, the wall's down. I don't know how they're going to get past this one. Just going to stick it and defuse it, and well, they're, they're not going to be able to deny it. They get all of the kills in the end, but it doesn't really matter. Considering he was, as said, almost the, the glimmer of hope in that first half. He's almost going to play it like we see Scream, just working around the smokes, getting incredibly aggressive. And he's going to grant them control of the B site with a Vova already catching a man on the rotation. An incredibly strong start for G2 in this pistol round. And unless there's a couple of quick kills, I don't see a way back in, but never mind, Mitch. Two kills almost instantly for Guild <laughs> as they swing back in the pistol. Well, the, those quick kills came in. Let's see what else they can get done. Drake and trying to come up and catch one, but he loses a lot of health in the meantime. That's G2 picking it up and making sure that this can... Though, the call has come in. The full squad already on the move, and by the looks of it, they might just be looking for a retake in Kellogg's, though. Spotted a glimpse. That's all it took. The boom bot <gasps> through, and he tries to fight, but instead, it's your scene to catch out to him. Response of over. Tries his best again. I feel like I'm getting... A bunch of times. They've gotten themselves in a spot that... Party's over. Oh, 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 oh. okay. Um, check in PC. I think he got a glimpse of him just as the smoke bloomed. Small bit of timing issue there. That's a man advantage as he's seen down as well. He uh, tends back towards the supportive role now, the the emotional support. Oh, it's going to be a full take of the A site. Every single member of this team, but there's not really any information. Bonker, this will be impressive. We've talked about the Bulldog and it's come back and he'll find one for his troubles. This kill could be everything though. This gives Leo some space. And we haven't needed his hero plays thus far, but this would definitely be one of them he's caught, though. Completely blinded by the paranoia. But a 2v2 scenario, not the worst case for Guild. No, it's not. Guild can definitely get this one done on the way back in. Evolva with ulti in hand. I do wonder, like, does he use it for information here? But they've heard the steps. I think at this point they know there's two players from the spawn side ready for a heaven peak. Camera gets destroyed. But I think it will have fed the information in the meantime. Paranoia goes out. Nuki with the swing and the spray transfer. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Six. Like you don't give anything over to the other side. You're not like boosting even that small amount of economy. Or more importantly, you're not giving away any ultimate points. And as you mentioned, for someone like Nuki at the moment, that that neck pretty much, especially with the defender side disadvantage. Safe has a damn good start at it. Okay, he ends up getting blinded up a little bit oh. and taken down on the way back. I've got oh, that's a disaster. It. And here goes the ultimate as well. Seekers going out. They only see one player and they know that's the guy in garage. So the C side is now open. They're going to just rush it down. Smoke in for the spawn. This completely isolates Evolva. He needs a teammate to make it into him pretty quickly. But as they're rotating, they're being spotted by Cole Dementa, who's harassing them, flashing them and keeping them back. The side is theirs. Rolling Thunder will stop the plant. They need to get some goals. Oh, oh, some kills afterwards. And Yassine just comes in big, leaving Evolva to one versus three this. He has his ult and goes to the A site. But now this is still a very, very tough one to win if Guild do group up and play this together. He needs to find 1v1s, and now he's been spotted. Shadows traveling. Yeah, this is going to make things very tough. The drop down will be heard. The spam actually not connecting as much as maybe they'd like. Work with here. I'm really curious when we're going to see lockdown come into effect. Oh, he's going through. <laughs> wow. You just know Kellogg's is W key. I think it gets stuck quite regularly. Mixwell's in spawn. Yes. Why? He's actually moving as well. So yeah, no, I think that they're just AFK. trying to catch off the, the A long player. Like you they were expecting somebody to push him from behind, maybe to try and deny him. He's going to have a very late flank. The flash is good, but Avova's timing is even better. Now Saves comes in on the flank, but there is a flank on his flank. There's no way they're going to expect Mixwell to be here, but he's almost null and void. His teammates have won the round without him. The cheeky play is coming out from Save. I like this little smoke down. That's going to keep him back for a moment. Kellogg's smokes his own position. Now G2... They're, okay, right. Well, I was going to say a little bit of pressure being applied, but they're trading back pretty quickly. They can force the long-range duels at this point, and the final flanker has no other choice. Safe does pull out a phantom, but look at the time, man. It's just way too low at this point. They could have destroyed it as well. 
And in fact, it looks like they're going to try and use it just to deny the plant. Bonka saving it. And Avova has actually managed to dodge that one completely. And Leo, maybe a little bit early on the peak. Already going to be caught off. This looking a bit rough, but Yasin has managed to find one. He's turning it back into a 3v4. And playing the plant by quite a bit on that. Bought them some time, but time doesn't really matter when you got no players left to defeat. But does that actually make much of a difference? Clearing him could be difficult. Draken will kick things off, but he's been tagged low, and the res is available for G2 to bring back Cold Aventa with a vengeance. But here it is, the paranoia primed and ready to pop on out. Safe gets taken down. Bonker trying his best on the back side, but he's being pushed from every Ooh, angle. No. And Cold Amenta takes him down very quickly indeed. There is a rolling thunder, as we said earlier. The question is, do you use it now or hold it for overtime? And Leo, he's got a pretty tough decision on his hands. Getting by these players will be tough, and I think he's realized that uh, it's not worth committing to it. Use the rolling thunder now. He probably, oh, oh, maybe now, maybe now you could. It's into a one versus two. It's Yasin as well. If anyone can make it happen, this guy can. Eight bullets and a blast pack. And a blast pack over the wall. Blast pack the wall, excuse me. Open up a little bit of a gap, but. Mitch, it could be absolutely everything. Almost you're trying to catch someone as they move into the site. That's exactly what we see Yasin will do. And he gets out of there. The attackers, they're gonna use themselves the lockdown. It will garner them control left. at least for now, but Guild are more than happy to wait for the retake. Cap playing into the retake with the man advantage. Again, we've said this before, they just need to work off each other. Look at the utility G2 have to play with. I know what you're thinking. What utility? They don't have any. It's all down to gunfights and crossfires, and they haven't got any crossfires to work with. Individuals need to show up and mix well. Cannot get it done. The nade for back sight doesn't deter Kellox just stands in it, takes the damage because he knows the kill is going to go his way. Dashing out right after. He's been double tagged. Repeats it, <laughs> tagged up by everything on the planet. And now he's back up to full health, sitting outside that site. G2, content to play the retake. Safe has managed to tuck himself up they close. Something tells me they're going to check this as they go on through. Safe's going to have to be quick. A bunch of defenders are not checking oh, it. No. The trigger discipline not there, but hey, you'll take it. That's a kill. And another for safe. He's even going wide for three. And the old pop for the information. They know there's one behind. Well, at the cost of safe's life, a rolling thunder, or sorry, an aftershock put out by Leo. Doesn't catch them, but still, he's able to get the double. In that one moment, he shines. And 23 kills on the board. It's been a damn good map for him. So in fact, I think Mix, yeah, he's pulled his turret back. So they have nothing for mid or C long. They need to go fast and bonker quickly. What? Shuts Kellogg's down. Near sighted, but Kellogg's landed right next to him. Oh, the God. snap back was sick. And he's already managed to get himself a second. He's looking to try and drag his team through, kicking and screaming. Playing through the cage. He's going to catch his third of the round. And Guild have managed.